This is Jim Ward from Go Engineer Technical Support. In this video, I will be touching on how the standard revision table works and comparing that to how a revision table that is managed by SOLIDWORKS PDM will work. A revision table managed by SOLIDWORKS PDM is a new option that comes with the SOLIDWORKS PDM 2018 release for both the standard and professional versions. If you are using a standard revision table, then you would modify the revision table by typing directly into the table. This means that someone has to open up the drawing in order to add the approver's initials and approval date. If your company is using PDM, none of the revision table values will update when the file property they are linked to is updated. Let me demonstrate. Here we have a, an empty drawing but we do have a standard revision table already placed in it. Notice that the description column here is linked to a custom property called RT underscore description. Now, in order to add a new revision, you simply select this B down here, and then the first revision comes in. Notice it is revision A, and the revision marker comes in as well, and that is linked to the revision in revision A. Now, the revision it has a one-way linkage, meaning that if the revision is changed, then it will update the value in the file properties. Notice the revision property name here does update to revision A. The other property, this RT underscore description that is linked to description here, notice that there is no, no linkage on that. So if I come over here on the revision and I... I make the revision B, and let's say I type in something for the description and tell it OK. Notice that nothing changes here in the revision table. However, if I change the revision here in the revision table, now I can also type in a description. Then we again go look at the file properties. We see that the revision did update to what I put into the revision table, which is great. Uh, however, the RT underscore description did not. So there's no linkage between the revision table and any custom properties. Now, again, this is a standard revision table. This is what you would use if you don't have PDM, if you just have SOLIDWORKS. Starting with 2018, a company can incorporate a revision table managed by SOLIDWORKS PDM. With this functionality, the standard revision block values, revision, description, date, and approved, become bidirectional with the PDM variable that they are linked to. Therefore, they can be updated by modifying the data card or through the workflow. This means the file doesn't have to be opened by anyone once the approval has been given. Now this is how to set up the PDM managed revision table. First we go to the PDM administration tool and we go to SOLIDWORKS revision table. Double click revision table and we say enable a revision table. Now you do need to decide how many rows you want to show on your drawing. This will um, manage that for you. The next, you need to have a placeholder character uh, because when you first put in the, the row, it will not put in an actual um, revision. It will put in this placeholder. Now, this placeholder should be indicative of the format of your revision. For example, in this one, this is an A-02. You would use a placeholder of star underscore star star. In my case, I am using a single alphanumeric character, so a single star is sufficient. When this is done, make sure you select OK. And now the next step is to create some new variables. And when you create these variables and you link them, there, there are, are some special considerations. So let's go to the revision. And, what we're, and on the revision, we need to do a, an attribute of SWREV table. When you type in the block name of SWREV table, then the attribute name becomes a drop down and you can choose revision from here. Don't just type it in, please come over here and actually choose it from your drop down. 
Notice there are um, four values here. For, there's the revision, and then further down here, there's the approved. And once again, I just put in um, the RT underscore approved, the SWREF table. Now, once you type in SWREF table and do um, pay close attention to the capitals, you can just choose it from the drop down list over here, SWREF table. And then the attribute name, again, you select it from the drop down of approved. So there's one for the approval, there's one for the date, and another one for the description. Uh, I called it RT for re revision table underscore description, and again, just description. Now, I did discover that if you try to link this to a, a normal um, file property, that you will have problems with the with this value updating and the linkage there. So it's better just to keep these simple just as they are, just this simple linkage to the revision table for this particular variable. All right, so once you have created the variables, now the next step is to add them to your file data card. So you come over to cards, file cards, pull up the card for your drawings, and then you add them. In my case, I have added them here. So then you get the RT approved is here. RT date is linked to this value and RT description is over here on this value. Okay, now let's go back to our drawing. Now the next step is to save the drawing in PDM. The PDM managed revision table does not take effect until the drawing is actually saved inside of PDM. So let's do that. I will save this. And this is inside of my ACME, my test vault. I will call it. So now that this is in, PDM. Now I can come over and I can add a new row. Notice I just click here to add the row. Notice that the revision comes in as a star. And here is my revision symbol. So I can mark wherever um, it needs to be. I just put in one revision symbol. Now let's add a description of some type. Now, just to show you that the date can be uh, changed later, I'm going to put in um, a date that perhaps um, this, this file was worked on and not the date that it was approved. All right now that I've done that, let us uh, uh, save the drawing. Let's go take a look at the file data card for this file. So here it is here. Notice it is still open in SOLIDWORKS. So if I come over and look at approvals, I'll see that the date that I entered is put in here and the description that I have entered is also put in here. Now I can't modify this while it is open in SOLIDWORKS. So let me close the file from SOLIDWORKS. Now I can uh, come in here and change this if I need to. Save this. And when I save it, it does update that value. We, to show that this value has been updated, let's open up the drawing. And you can see that it has indeed updated the description value. So now let's go ahead and release this file. For our first step to do that, of course, is to check in the file. Now let's uh, put it through the workflow. First, we submit it for review. So submit for review. OK. And then the last step is to actually release the document. Notice that when the file is released, the approvals gets put in, the date of approval gets put in, the revision, I mean, it's now replacing the star. And if we look locally, we will see uh, again here in the approvals, oh, we need to update this. Now you see the revision has indeed moved to an A and approvals also show who approved it when they approved it. Now let's carry this through to, um, to one more. So let's again move this over to work in progress. Now this link between this row and the file data card down here is maintained until a new row is added. So let's add a new row. You see it comes in as a star. Put in a new description. 
the date comes in, but we will leave the approved blank. So now I will save this. Oh, whoops, I forgot to check it out. Uh, let me let me check it out. There we go. All right, now let's save this. Close, and then let's uh, let's update the revision table just by clicking away and back. Now we can see that it shows the new the new value, and the new value is linked. This has been uh, Jim Ward from Go Engineer demonstrating a little bit about the new PDM managed revision tables that's new for 2018 and comparing those to a standard revision table.